Welcome back to our Q&A series with 12 of our favorite RVers. Today's question is all about the drive. You want to take it? Sure. So, what is your ideal drive time and or mileage? Our preferred travel day distance, we try to cap it at 400 miles, and that's the top end. Yes. Sometimes we've gone a little bit over, but we found that we average about 50 miles per hour uh, with stops and just general travel. So that's an eight hour day for us, so we try to limit it to 400 miles. I prefer to have three or four hour travel days, but oh, I mean, okay. we do have to do those seven, eight hour days occasionally but we try not to do too many of those in a row. Right, and we mentioned uh, we like to use RV Trip Wizard for our planning, so we try to book our stays within that limit. If it's more than 400 miles away, we know we're gonna have to do some staying in between there. Starting out, our preferred distance was about four hours. I couldn't sit in a truck for much longer than that. Yeah, so and basically her hip starts hurting her because of her injuries from being in law enforcement, so she can't sit or stand for a long time. So four hours, we would typically do between 150 to 200 um, miles. miles a day, and that's kind of what we were doing. And it was perfectly fine. And then we also like to stay two nights when we after we do that, so we have a whole day of rest before we do it again. But now that we have uh, have this traveling, we realize that we can drive a little bit further because it's easier to rest. We don't have to get somewhere and set up. And that was the big issue with the travel trailer. Yeah. So we gave ourselves four hour drive time, five hour drive time, because we had to get there and set up. We wanted to do it during the daylight. And we seem to have to plan more often where with this thing, if we want to pull over and just go right to bed, we can do that. We don't have to set anything up or level anything. Right. And we have definitely driven longer days. We just have to take those breaks every few hours and get out and walk around and stretch. So uh, give her hip a rest. So, but yeah, it's uh, I think it changes a little bit. Really, I mean, you're probably, you might find this as well for yourself. There's definitely days where you're like, oh, I can drive 10 hours. And you can because you just feel like, okay, I can get this driving done. It's not a problem. And there's other days where you're like, after two hours, you're like, I'm just tired of driving. I, I want to rest. So. Right. And I think with the trailer, we actually, we couldn't, if we did feel like we could do 10 hours, we really couldn't because we had to pre-plan, you yeah. know, because we wanted to make sure we got to where we needed to be and got set up. But I think with this thing, it's really going to change the way we, we travel. Yeah. We, we still don't like to pretty much do five hours is pretty much our cap. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we're doing today. Yeah. So. Or travel we days. <laughs> or travel days. Do we agree? Well, let's see. <laughs> Our first three days on the road. But let's not talk about that. <laughs> we put about 650, 650 miles a day in, and we learned real quickly that that was way too much. Um, you have fatigue and... Even after that, I thought our oh, 500 mile days would be okay. No. I think our, our travel days have, have shortened up. Now, if, if we really want to get from point A to point B, and, and we, have to we want to do it that. quickly, we can do that, but I think our typical travel is probably going to be in the 200 mile range, just to keep our to keep our time down and to get in at a decent time and be able to set up. And um, normally, our travel days are quite short um, because the national park units are actually quite close together. Um, the last longer day was when we tried to get from Tucson to Quartzsite for um, Excapers annual bash and and the New Year's convergence. That's kind of our exception. Otherwise. Um, it's maybe hour, two hours or so, because where the next place is. Um, we like to batch things, so if it's a travel day, then we will do grocery shopping, we'll get propane, we'll get uh, run errands in town, all those things in one day, so that the other days can be fully exploration days. Before we had the RV, we used to do a lot of road trips, and I love driving, uh, Diana not so much, uh, so I'm happy to drive for hours on end. And it got to the point where Diana realized I would just drive like 500 miles until the gas tank ran out and yeah. we'd have to pack snacks and things in the yeah, car because I, I just learned. wouldn't stop for, for food or anything. Yeah, I learned that even if he promised that we would stop for lunch, that yeah, wouldn't happen. Probably so wouldn't happen. I had to bring lunch with us in the car. And I think now we've got the trailer, uh, we, we certainly can travel longer. We've done several days where we've done over 600 miles for several days in a row uh, with the trailer. But it is a lot more tiring, I think, when you're driving with the trailer. So I would say we would generally try and keep it under two, 250 miles uh, as a limit nowadays, but we can, can exceed that if we need to. As Diana said, in reality, we just often don't need to. We're just going from one place to the next. And it tends to be just mm -hmm. maybe a couple of hours at most. I realized since I've been uh, going places that 
I'm okay with at least a four hour drive per day and that seems to work. I can handle a four hour um, drive to wherever I'm going. Our typical travel day is we like to be out the door, uh, hitched up, ready to roll, no later than nine o'clock in the morning. And we kind of like to be in by three because if there, if something doesn't work out at our destination that we have a little bit of time um, to go to plan B uh, for finding another place to park or right. allowing for breakdowns or whatever. So uh, out by nine, in by three. This typically allows us between 200 and 300 miles per right. day, depending on how much we stop. We do take a lot of photographs, things like that. You know, we're always looking for something that's different. Sorry, cat. <laughs> So that's that would be our typical day. Yeah, yeah. And um, one is I'm holding Chrissy here, and we have Candy below us. Um, we also really take an account of them. We have a set rule that we started for travel days, and our set rule was the 3:30 rule. We talked to a lot of old folks and a lot of people that were traveling. You either drive 330 miles or 3:30 p.m. End of story. Done. No more. No less. Because you got a lot of setup and. You know it's stressful driving whether the weather's good or bad so but we've bumped that back to three <laughs> hey, well, that's what i was gonna say we kind of like went <laughs> maybe not 330 maybe it can be like 200 miles a day maybe 150 miles a day we like shorter but, days know, it's and we not like, we don't really have a time to be you know what i mean we've our biggest thing now is is if we stop at a campsite most of the ones that we stop at are military rv sites and they have a four o'clock happy hour every day we don't want to miss because that's where we meet everybody <laughs> and, and it's cool because if you go to them they got a bonfire or they got a they bring out snacks and you get to meet them and hear their stories it depends on a lot of things but uh i'm, I'm about 300 400 miles a day that's probably my my distance with this thing our preferred is not to go very far but we, our reality is we want to get there and we go too long we, uh, especially out to Yellowstone, as I said, we, it's a 500 mile day. And when I was driving the Jeep following, it made it really hard. I couldn't do it. So we, we keep saying we're going to do, there's one couple we saw and they do nine, six, three, they leave at nine, drive six hours and stop by three. And we've yet to do that. We, we used, tried it once at our first harvest host and we stopped at two and they were getting stickers in their feet going outside and we thought about how long the next day was going to be traveling and we ended up by four o'clock we'd moved on and so it's hard for us to get to that point where we're not traveling so much per day to get someplace but i think you do that more when you're completely full-time than us where we're not completely i think we're more planned out of where we go as far as we go to Yellowstone, we come here to Texas. It's, um, yeah, it's, we're not traveling as much as the full timers going around the country. Yeah, we're um, it's, from where we live at. It's 1,200 miles to Yellowstone, and we usually do that in two days. Uh, we, when we come down to visit our daughter in Texas, it's a thousand miles, and we do that in two days. We don't have a preferred travel day. I prefer to travel as far as possible. I think the longest we've done is 16 hours of driving in one day. Um, I like to get there and settle in. Um, so we're not one of the three hours and then stop people. And the primary reason for us on that is that we like to stay at a location for a month or we actually have a couple of upcoming stays where we're staying six weeks to two months. So if we took where we only went two hours and then stopped, it would take us a long time to ever yeah. get anywhere. So we do usually drive, we compromise though, cause I did not love the 16 hour day. Yeah. Um, and usually do about probably eight, nine hours though. At least eight or nine hours. If it's our preference, I'd say probably 300 miles would be just about right. Uh, we've extended it to 400 miles. We've done as little as 200 miles. It depends on the next destination. And I think as we've uh, grown into this lifestyle, we're getting more comfortable uh, with a little bit longer day and maybe uh, like tomorrow we're going to go uh, to St. Uh, Charles, Louisiana and we're going to uh, stay in a casino. 
So we're going to start being a little bit more adventurous with where we spend the night. Haven't done a Walmart yet, but hopefully we're going to start looking at uh, alternatives to just going to an RV campground. So our longest day so far was a little over 500 miles. And that was too long. And it was way too long. And we ended up staying at a uh, visitor center with a bunch of tractor trailers. I didn't get any sleep, so I had to drive the next day. And it just wasn't a good experience. So t for me, it's two, 250 miles. Maybe three, you know, but six, five, six hours. Our preferred travel time, I base it on time basically, is somewhere between two and four hours. We can go, you know, a lot longer if we need to. We've done 12 hours, eight hours. Um, eight hours wasn't too bad. 12 hours is way too long, but uh, between two and four hours. Since we've all established the fact that I'm not the driver, I'm just the navigator. We'll a let, very good navigator at that. We'll let Phil take this one. Okay, so my preferred drive time is roughly three to four hours. Um, and the mileage, if we're going by that, is about 300, 350-ish. is a good sweet spot for us. Now, mind you, that doesn't take into the fact that 15 minutes after we're on the road, he always wants to stop for lunch. So that does add on some time. It's a big job to drive. You're always hungry when you're driving. <laughs> I don't know why. Right, yeah. right. So, but the drive time... I've heard of the, the three, what is it, the rule of threes, either three o'clock or 300 miles. Um, we have yet to really meet that. No, or the rule of fours, four o'clock or 400 miles. Um, as long as we're done by the time it gets dark, I'm happy most yeah, times. Yeah. But we are going to change and try to do the, you know, three, four hours or three, 350 mileage. I think that's a good sweet spot. And more for us, it's just slowing down and stop being in such a hurry. Yeah. So just by us slowing down, it's actually gonna make that happen. Yeah, you know, if you all recall, we did 1600 miles in three days <laughs> and that was definitely definitely not the preferred no. drive um, method that we ever wanna Our do time, again. Yeah. Uh, the only time I think we'll do something like that again is if there is a national emergency <laughs> And we've gone to DEFCON 4. Yeah, let's not let's not talk about yeah. that, though. <laughs> no, we're, we're good. But that's our method, our, our, our preferred style. All right. So, really, you won't know what your preferred driving time is or distance until you actually get out there on the road. So, once you get some miles under your belt and you actually start doing it, you'll decide if you would just want to plow through and do a 10, 12-hour drive and get there and be done. Or if you're going to take little bitty um, trips, yeah. or should say little destinations along the way and stop as you go and play. Yeah, and we've heard people that do, have done all Both, the above. Yeah, um, and, and as you've just heard from the video. Yeah, and you know those that drive nine, ten hours a day, good on you. Uh, <laughs> I just I can't sit that long. Yeah, it gets a little old. Yeah. All right, so I hope this helps you guys out a little bit as you are making plans to become full-time RVers, or if you already are a full-time RVer. Again, if you have an awesome question you would like me to ask in the next series, please drop it below. I do plan on doing another series. We're going to mix it up and, again, try to get different kind of RVers who RV different ways and um, different people than the last group. Um, so I hope it turns out just as good. Yeah, and if you don't mind, put in the comments your preferred you know, range or your time, you yeah. know, how, how do you like to do it? What's your sweet spot for you? Because everyone's different and, um, you know, people want to see different ideas as they start, start their full-time journey. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and stick around for you know what. I'm sure there's some there. <laughs> and we'll see you on, on the, the road. road. Want to take it? I don't know what the question is. <laughs> I guess what that's a question? no. What was the question? Oh, ready? Quiet okay. on set. Cut. I know. <laughs> Come in my eye. Wanker. <laughs>